Hey everyone, so in the recent video I asked for criticism, feedback, uh, ideas, etc. And one of the comments was in the form of a question. It was something along the lines of what makes a sports photo good? And that's a fantastic question. So today I'm going to try to address exactly that. I don't know the answer to that question, but I have an opinion. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and I agree with that concept. To me, photography is all about storytelling, being able to communicate with whoever is looking at your photo. Knowing and understanding the fundamentals of photography, such as the exposure triangle, composition, focus, depth of field, lighting, color balance, to them a few, will help you achieve a technically correct photo. Again, there needs to be a strong emphasis on the word correct, because photography as an art form is very subjective and someone else's artistic vision might not be the same as your own. However, the better you master those fundamentals, the easier it will be for you to communicate the intention you have for the photo. Now, if we're talking specifically about sports photography, there's one element that's usually very present, which is human beings. Very simple, right? Well, in landscapes or other types of photography, that's not usually the case, but sometimes you do see them. You do see people in landscapes that give the viewer a sense of dimension. In sports photography, you want to see people. You want to see their faces, their emotions, their drive. A good photo is one that is technically correct. A great photo is one that connects with you and makes you remember a specific moment in time and it helps tell a story and above all gives you goosebumps. Now the person that made that question, what makes a good sports photo good, also commented and said that he likes the, the vlogs that I make. And you know what, the person coming up next is one of my inspirations for those vlogs. Rob Gray from the US, uh, I reached out and he was so kind to answer the question for me. And uh, I mean, if you have time, check out his videos. I'll have links to, to his videos in the description below. And he's just, seems like a really, really fun guy to be around. And uh, if you like my vlogs, you'll love his even more. Uh, so Rob, back to you now. Hi, I'm Rob. And today we're gonna talk about what makes a good sports photo. And there's a couple things in my opinion that really stand out. First, uh, going through your, your photos when you get back from an event, uh, you need to deliver about 40 photos uh, between uh, the beginning of the match all the way to the end and then uh, for an hour after. And for those pictures, we're looking for things like context. Uh, what teams are playing? Uh, you want to get a picture with the sport with the ball and two players moving towards you where you can see both their jerseys, uh, what teams they are, and from there, you want to start looking for other things like celebrations and uh, dejection, things like a big dunk or someone scoring a, a goal or scoring a touchdown. You want to get pictures of the top performers. You want to tell a story. So you want to get pictures at the beginning of the uh, game where the, the players are coming onto the field. You want to get fans coming in. You want to get the great plays. You want to see everything that's going on. But you also want to see things that aren't normally part of like a, a sports photo that you would think. Uh, maybe get uh, reactions of, of the players talking to other players or get something on the bench uh, where the pit players are um, sitting arm in arm uh, looking uh, at a, someone uh, shooting a free throw. Or maybe you want to look at something where fans are, are doing the wave or something. And you want to, of your 40 pictures, you want to have five or six that are pictures of fans and things like that. The second thing I'm looking for is the emotion of the event. And so you want to get those celebrations, the, the yelling and the screaming, and then dejection after a goal. Uh, feeling like they, they let the team down because they, they let a goal score or someone scored a basket over the top of them. Uh, if you can get a celebration and a dejection at the same time, those are the best. Sometimes, actually, there isn't anything. Uh, there's not even a, a good dunk in the game, or if there's only one dunk, uh, you might have missed it because the referee runs in front of you. In soccer slash football, there's a, they don't score a goal, and so there's, there's not a lot of things you know, to get like celebration. For those, you're, you're looking for uh, shots where, you know, it, it's a good play or 
or something where I like to get photos where their feet are in the air. It shows movement and it shows action. And if you can get both their feet in the air and if you can get both players, you know, somehow get more people look for things that normally don't happen. You know, someone diving for a ball or a, a slide tackle. Um, those are some of the, the things that we look for and, and hopefully uh, this is helpful. I also reached out to Rob Sambles. If you like sports photography, I'd be very surprised if you have not seen some of his videos on YouTube. So I asked him the same question and let's see what he had to say. Rob? Hey, what's up, David? Thanks for including me into this. So yeah, what a great question, right? What a great question. What makes a good or what makes a great sports photo? Now, I think for me, it's almost into two categories, right? There's what makes a decent sports photo, and that's all the basics that I talk about on my channel quite a bit, um, around like making sure you've got people's faces in the picture, making sure you've got the ball in the picture, assuming it's a, a ball-based um, sport, trying to have a clean background, ideally a shallow depth of field so that background is kind of crushed some kind of peak action or, or maybe emotion in the photo those are the bits that kind of make a decent sports photo right but what makes a great sports photo for me it is a photo that then means something you know a photo that captures a moment in time a, an emotion that when people look at that photo again they remember it and it brings it back to them you know, it might be that it's it's something away from the field. It could be a, an action or, or celebration after the moment. But, but it's something where, you know, sometimes a photo will mean something to a few people. And sometimes it will mean something to millions of people. There are some iconic um, photos out there. There's the, you know, like the overhead photo of Muhammad Ali. You know, photos that millions of people look at and they will recognise that as being a big moment in time. The famous Usain Bolt um, celebration after he'd broken the world record in Beijing. You know, those photos will, will, will bring back memories and capture a moment for millions of people, um, you know, for generations to come. And that, for me, is what makes an amazing sports photo, right? Some of those technically are very straightforward. Uh, taking a photo of somebody doing that pose isn't hard to do but to capture that moment in that time with then the the memories that that brings back are, are, are amazing i saw a photo just the other day um, that I remember brings back this emotion for me. It's a photo of Harry Kane back in the World Cup in 2018 in Russia. Um, Harry Kane scored a real late goal against Tunisia to get the win for England. Ran towards the corner, like pulling his, his jersey like this. Um, and I saw that photo just the other day. And for me, it brought back all the memories that I had as a fan watching that game with my family cheering. And, and I remembered that emotion from seeing that photo. And that, to me makes that an amazing sports photo, a great sports photo, which has captured a moment forever to come. I hope that helps answer the question. Thanks for including me, David. Love your channel. Thanks a lot. See you soon. So I hope you liked this video. It was a bit of a different one, I suppose, because it's not me, other people too. Uh, but it was an interesting one, especially reaching out to those people and, and asking those questions and getting their feedback. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this type of video with uh, collaborations, I suppose, with other photographers? Uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe. And please don't forget to check out uh, the other guys' channels. I'm going to link them in the description below. And uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.